Greetings viewers, this is King Adrian. There is a flyer out there on social media claiming that ghost towns have been cancelled by Dr. Cho Arabam. That is not true. That's fake news. As a matter of fact, Dr. Cho Arabam has made an audio standing with ghost towns. And ghost towns shows what? Solidarity, unity, a united front towards the marginalization of Cam of Southern Cameroonians, of Anglophone Cameroonians, of Amazonians. It is the most peaceful way to fight against the marginalization. It is the most peaceful way to fight against life of political Cameroon. And this has been, we've been doing, using this tactic for four years. And it's been working. But we need to act more in order to make it work. What do we have to add? We need a more united military working towards the goal for Southern Cameroon. And for somebody like Akwanga Ebenezer, who had a military group, and his military group is not longer fighting in Southern Cameroon, even if his fighting is not effective. He decided to speak against ghost towns. Ghost towns have been doing great work. It shows unity. It shows that the people care about what they are fighting for. And they are giving their time and effort to fight against the marginalization. Dr. O'Connor says that he doesn't see the effect of ghost town. It doesn't see the effect of ghost town because the military that is fighting for southern Cameroon is not united. It's not fighting consistently. It's not funded consistently. It's not utilized consistently. This is a war. And if we intend to win it, we have to fight it. Ghost town just gives us an additional edge, but it's not the only tool that is needed to fight against this revolution. It's one of the two, but that tool alone cannot secure our independence, cannot secure our sovereignty, cannot secure our goal, our agenda. Military and leadership, a more united military, a military that is working for the people, of Southern Cameroon, a military that is working to liberate the counties in Southern Cameroon, a leadership in military as well as in civ um, civilian military, a civilian, civilian leadership, excuse me, civilian leadership as well as military leadership is needed to foster the goal of Southern Cameroon, to foster the goal of Amazonia, to foster the goal of English Cameroonians. And if we cannot work as a team to secure our, our goal, then we will not achieve it. And we cannot blame that on ghost towns. We can only blame that on our leadership and on our military. What is the purpose of the leadership? To raise funds, support the military with the funds, make sure that the military has the weapons they need to fight the forces of the Republic of Cameroon within the 14 counties. And each county, despite what military group or leadership they belong, have to be fighting for one goal only and not fighting against each other. The goal is to eradicate the forces of the Republic of Cameroon within our 14 counties. We have not done that consistently. And because of that, we're losing. But Akwanga will say that, oh, ghost town is not working. We should get rid of it. It's not working because we're not utilizing all the tools that is needed to liberate Southern Cameroon. We cannot liberate Southern Cameroon utilizing ghost towns only. We have to also use the military, and the military has to work as a team. When the uh, Akwanga was failing 
what did he do? He withdrew. Now he came in. Now he's saying that, oh, we should get rid of ghost towns. No. Ghost towns stands for a united sovereign Cameroon, a united English Cameroon, a united Ambazonia. And the people respect it because it's working towards the goal they want to achieve. So we cannot get rid of ghost towns. We need to enhance our military. We need to enhance our leadership. We need to enhance how we tackle the forces of life of the Cameroon of Cameroon within southern Cameroon. We need to attack more military bases of life of the Cameroon inside southern Cameroon so that we can uproot them in our nation. These are the tactics and strategy that we need to do in order to win this war and we must stand united it's not about love it's about logic understanding and a common purpose what is the common purpose of southern cameroon to liberate southern cameroon and to have a nation known as ambazonia so goes down stands but we need a military all over the 14 counties to work as a team despite what leadership you follow it doesn't matter if you're adf it doesn't matter if you're if you're amf it doesn't matter what you know it doesn't matter if you are um samosako's uh it doesn't matter if you follow samosako or any of the leadership or any of the frontline leadership so long as we are fighting to liberate southern cameroon our number one goal is to destroy the forces of La Republic of Cameroon within our counties. And if we can control our territory, if we can control the 14 counties in Southern Cameroon, then we will achieve the goal that we need. A united military, a united people working to liberate Southern Cameroon. That is the key. This is King Echo. Like, share, subscribe. Till next time.